Uh, hi, I'm Emily Terrell. I'm a senior from Burke High School. And this is Leaving a Mark. My mother and I have a running joke about my grandma, wondering if the dementia went away when she went up to heaven or if she asked the angels, oh, is it Christmas? She didn't mean to forget, and I lost sight of that. Wanting to scream at her for not remembering my name, I just told you 27 times my name is Emily Elizabeth Terrell. I'm your granddaughter. Why don't you see me? But I bite my tongue, smile, and say, I'm Emily, Grandma. My mother told me Grandma was crazy even before dementia, eating onions like apples, never remembering that everyone knew where the spare key was. We knew it wasn't just crazy the day my mother and I walked in on Grandma sitting on the living room floor, staring at a picture of Grandpa. His golden brown eyes, his chiseled pace, cheeks puffed out, lips turned up to show his crooked teeth. She didn't recognize him. I wanted to scream, he was your husband. The spare key is under that stupid statue. Why is there a toothpaste on this sandwich, please? Come back to me. But I bite my tongue, smile, and say, I would love a sandwich. Later, my mother sits on her bedroom floor, staring at a picture of you, failing to recall who you used to be before we became lost to your memories. Grandma says nothing when I ask, do you want something to eat when we visit her in the nursing home? My mother holds her small, bony hand, stroking her palm with her thumb. Grandma smiles for the first time in so long, the smile that always comforted me, and those times she didn't see me, but saw my mother through her memories, grateful that at least I could remind her of something. Grandma looks down at them holding hands, and with all her strength, she brings those hands to her lips, and for a split second, we believe she remembers. She pressed her lips against my mother's hands and bit her. When Grandma let go, she looked at the mark she had made. I looked at them too, thinking, why couldn't you have bitten me? Left those marks on my skin so that I would have a piece of you, some small symbol of your being to prove that you were here, thinking those marks will fade from my mother's skin, but if you had left them on me, I would have them tattooed so they would last. I would tell those who wondered about you, making your memory immortal, never getting tired of your name singing through my ears. My memories may fade like they did for you, Grandma, but the marks you left on me never could.